Okay, now we need to is to this one. So select it and use the is to command from right here. And you can is to any mount you want. Okay, now we need to move this to the right side. About minus 5 unit. You can move any amount you want. Now delete this one. We don't need it anymore. Now let's uh, move this to the cuff. And place it right here. Now we need to do this again. Okay, if the thickness is too small, you can uh, scale it up if you want to. And move this one back to right here. Now select this all. Uh, we need to mirror it to the other side. Now let's use the union command to union this two. Okay, now let's fill uh, some of the edges. Okay, now we need to copy this line uh, to the center of those joints. Now let's use the second command and uh, let's click around curve and select this line and uh, let's create a circle at the end of this line. You can put any more radius you want. Now select this and move it over a little bit and uh, let's do this uh, just for a short distance. Okay, that's great. Now let's run the cap command to make it solid. Okay, now let's copy this curve, I mean cycle, uh, to the top of this cylinder. And we need to scale it down a little bit. So select it and scale it down. Now we need to do this one more time. up to this point you can is to any more you want just use the external reference for this fork and now let's let this to the circle we just right here and let's move it in the other direction and we need to scale it up as much as you want And now let's do this again for some distance. And now select this surface and run the cap command to make it solid. Okay, now we need to make uh, this solid to the other side. Okay, now let's uh, use the C plane command. Choose the object options and click on this face. Now uh, we need to draw. I mean create a box on this face. Okay, now let's use the union command to make it single object. Okay, now select this and run the cap command again. Now we need to scale it down, but we are going to use the scale 1D command for this. Well, once again, let's copy this cylinder at the top of this surface.
Okay, that's real good. Okay, I think I need to scale it down one more time. Let's use the same scale 1D command. Let's change the set C plane to wall drop. Now one more time, we need to copy this circle. And let's move it up to this face. I mean on this center. Okay, it's a little big. So let's scale it down a little bit up to this point. And let's let an S2 this. Okay, now select this surface and run the cap command. Okay, now let's move this circle on this face one more time. Okay, and scale it down. Okay, now we need to extrude this one more time. Let's extrude it up to this point. Okay, now, now run the cap command again. Now let's move this circle on that face. And now let's do this circle one more time. Okay, I think I need to scale it up this surface uh, for a little bit. So scale it up. And run the cap command. Okay, one more time, let's copy those circle, I mean that circle, on that face. Okay, now click on this and let's set the gamble to align to object. And let's copy this circle right here and one more at right at this point. And let's slide this and scale it up. Okay, now let's use the love service command. Slide this circle and right click and click OK. Now you can uh, run the cap command to make it solid and fill out the edges if you want to. And if you want to scale it up, you can slide this control Y and slide this and scale it up. Now let's uh, delete this line from the other side and this object from the other side. Now let's make uh, this all to the other side. I think you can use the revert command to make this series of uh, cylinder. I just did uh, all this in the wrong way. Okay. Now we need to set the C plane. Now we need to move the C plane. So let's use the set C plane and choose object and click on this face. Now on this plane, you need to create a 2D cut, which is like this. Okay, let me show you this clearly. So let's isolate the rest. Okay, it's like an arrow shape. Uh, I just use a saga and tangent line uh, from right here. You can use it too. Okay, now let's unhide all the object. Now select this, we need to extrude it. And it's studio up to this edge. Now let's use the boolean union command. Slide this object. This one. And the other one. And right click. Okay, that's look perfect. Now let's uh, set the C plane to wall top. Now let's go to the right side view and here you need to create a circle at the center. 
it doesn't matter how much radius do you use now we are going to use a tube uh, at this center so click on this point and let's go to the right side again now let's create a tube you can use any radius you want okay now let's go to the front or back side view and let's do this up to uh, this point and now let's move it back to this center okay now that's perfect and now let's create the box on this view i'm going to use the free end technique for this you can use your own dimension if you want to okay now let's do this up to this edge now we need to rotate this and let's move it up to uh, right here okay that's still great now we need to uh, combine this so use a union command okay now if you want to fill out these edges uh, you can do it yourself i'm just going to copy this to the other side and place it at the end of this line okay now it is uh, ready to install the shelf and now let's go to the right side view and here you need to create a 2d sketch which is exactly like this one i just use the line and filler command to make this sketch now let's hide this seat and now slide this cup and go to the top view and we need to copy this cup to the left and right side I'm going to copy this uh, just for 5 units. You can copy this any more you want. Okay, now let's go to the perspective view. I think we don't need this right curve, so delete it. Now let's use the duplicate H command and select these edges. and right click and join it now we need to create a line from this point to this point and let's create one more line from this end point to this point okay now we are going to use the surface from narrow curve so select this curve this one and this curve and this curve and right click Okay, now you can use any setting you want. Okay, now select this. Uh, we need to mirror this to the other side. So let's go to the top view and mirror it. Okay, that's look great. Now delete this curve or you can hide it too. And let's hide the ISO curve from this services. Okay, now let's use the blend service command and select this agents and right click. Now let's use the tendency option for this. If you satisfy the result, you can click OK. Now select this and we need to hide the ISO curve too. And now let's go to the right side view. Okay, we need to create uh, some edges by copying it. So let's use the duplicate H command and select this H and right click. Okay, now we need to extend this curve. So let's use the extend curve command and select this H, I mean curve, and extend it up to this point. 
Okay, now we need to duplicate this H one more time. So select this H and right click. Okay, now we need to split the previous curve. So let's use the split command. Select this curve, right click and select this line and right click. Okay, our curve has been split. It. Now let's copy or move this uh, second curve to the endpoint of the previous curve. And place it right here. Now we need to uh, copy the first curve. And place it at right at this point. Now let's use the surface from narrow curve and first slide uh, this edge and now slide the other three curve and right click. Now you can choose any certain you want. Okay, I'm going to leave the way it was and click OK. Now we need to mirror this surface to the other sides. And now let's use the surface blank command and select this edge and this edge. Now choose the tendency option and click on this slot command. Then move the slider to, all the way to the left and click OK. Now let's use the duplicate edge command and select these edges and right click and let's join it. Now we need to create one more supply curve. So use this second from interpolation point click on this end point I mean midpoint okay I think I need to go to the right side view and now let's click on the empty space and now let's use the surface from never curve one more time and slant this curve and this reference curve and this curve and now this H and this H and right click. Okay, that's look better. Now let's uh, hide all the ISO curve. If you want to do, please do it yourself. Now let's go to the back side. And here you need to create the sketch, which is for the headline. I just like this shape. You can create any shape you want. And I also make a copy at the back side uh, by copying this big one. And I also scale it down to the required side. And I also make two more sketch by using the ask command. This one and this one. It is pretty easy. You can create it yourself. Now select all these and let's hide the rest of the body. Now select this and let's go to the right side view. Uh, we need to create one more sketch. So let's copy this. And let's go to the back side and we need to scale it up because I don't want the consistency. Okay. Now we need to mirror this curve to the other side. So select this and use a meta command to meta it to the other side. Okay, now we need to put that tenure C at the intersection. So use mesh curve, select this curve and this curve and click OK. Now we need to join this two curve. So use the join command. Okay, now select this and explode it. Okay, now let's try some of the curve. Now let's use the safari from narrow out curve. First, let this two curve, I mean three curve. And now select this three curve. And right click. Now you can use any setting you want.
and click OK. Now select this and hide the ISO curve. Okay, now uh, we need to join those curves which, which we explored this before. So let's select all these and use the join command again. Okay, now let's use the uh, log service command to create service between these two, I mean, three cross section. Now let's go to the back side and slide this to the curve. And now let's use a uh, service from Prana curve. Okay, let's hide the ISO curve. Now let's go to the right side view and create this to the sketch for the link. Now select this to curve and use the trim command and trim this part and join it. Now we are going to use the S2 command. So let's use the is to solid and check the both side yes option and you can is to this any more you want. Okay, now let's go to the right side view and we need to create a circle at this center. You can create any radius you want. Now let's is to this circle one more time and then change the visual study wireframe and select this and is to it. Okay, now let's use the subtract command. Select this part, right click, and select this one, and right click. Now let's create a group from all this part, uh, but I don't need this cuff. So create groove. Okay, now uh, let's unhide all the parts. And now we need to move this its correct locations. And you can scale it down or scale it up if you want to. Now let's go to the top view and select the wheel and hide the rest of the object. Okay, uh, at the center, we need to create a 2D sketch for the center part of wheel, which is exactly like this. You can create any shape for this center part. Now select all these curves. We need to isolate the wheel. Okay, now let's go to the top view. And here we are going to use the uh, revolve command. So let's use uh, revolve surface command from right here. And now let's uh, click two times on this line and right click two times. Okay, now let's unhide all the object. And now you can copy this part to the uh, rear wheel. Now let's go to the right side view. And here you need to create a 2D sketch for the rim, uh, which is like this. You can create any shape you want. Okay, now let's let this surface end and isolate the rest okay now select this and yes use is to command you can is to any more you want and you have to make sure uh, to check the both side yes option okay now you can fill out these edges and you can trim it so take your time to do it it is pretty easy you can do it yourself
Cancelate this and use the circular array and click on display and you can read any more you want okay now you can copy this all to the rear wheel so do it yourself well as you can see i have created the display at this front wheel uh, which is exactly same as the rear wheel uh, i mean exactly same method you can create it yourself it is pretty easy now on the right side view, create this tree sketch for the support of this uh, seat. Uh, I just use the line command for this. Now let's use the S2 command. And you can S2 this any amount you want. Okay, now uh, let's use the filler command to filler these agents. You can use any amount of filler you want. And then you need to trim this part, uh, which is, uh, we don't need it. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit. You can do it yourself. And now let's hide all the object. And here you need to create some 2D sketch, which is exactly like this one. Uh, these are for the front wheel market. I just use the supply tool for the to cross section and a saga command uh, to join this two curve. It is pretty easy. You can create yourself. So I skip those spots. And now let's hide the other object. Okay, now we are going to use the sweep one ray command from the surface step. And slide this rail and slide this to cross section. And right click. Now you can choose any setting you want. It is up to you. Okay, now you can put uh, offset on this surface to make it solid. I mean, uh, you can put thickness on it by using the offset command. So do it yourself. I have already shown you that process. And now let's go to the top view. And here you need to create another 2D sketch, uh, which is just like this one. Uh, you can use the supply tool to make this sketch. Now let's rotate this sketch. And you have to make sure you have to check the copy yes option and let's rotate this up to this point you can rotate any more you want it's up to you okay we got it now let's draw a circle from this center and let's click at the end of this curve now slide this to curve and this top curve and let's isolate the rest Okay, let's go to the perspective. I think I need to move this circle to the midpoint of those sketch. So select it and use the move command and move it in the Z, sorry, iteration and click on this midpoint. Now select this two cup because we need to trim the circle. So use the trim command and trim this part. Okay, now we can use the uh, sweep rail command. Slide this rail and slide this to cross section and right click. Okay, that's look better. And now you can add more detail component to make it more realistic look. So as you can see, I have added some detail component on this motorcycle, just like stand and just like this front suspension cover. 
I mean for Gava, it is pretty easy to do it. And I also add a break at the handle. Uh, I mean these all components are very busy and easy to create. That's why I'm not going to show that process in this video. Okay, now let's uh, select all these motorcycles because I want to move this uh, in the downward direction just for a little bit because I want to put this uh, wheel at the origin and I want to also incline this whole motorcycle to the left just like this is standing on the uh, stand okay just draw a little bit okay now that's good Now let's hide this whole assembly. Okay, now let's set the C plane. Uh, choose the three point. And let's click on this center point. And click on along this AZ and this line. Now let's unhide those assembly again. Because I want to rotate this whole assembly to the left just for a little bit for a better view. Okay, let's click on this cable, rotate cable, and rotate to the right. Okay, that's good. And let's set to wall drop. Now, let's look better. Okay, that's all guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.